today we are going to Cannon Mountain Aerial Tramway. You should definitely check out our last video where we went to Flume Gorge for a bit of hiking. And I also shared some information there just as I'm going to today. Let's start with some basics. This tramway goes up to about 4,080 feet. Um, it was really like amazing. The scenery was beautiful. And you do need to make reservations. So ages five and like below are free. Ages six to 12 is $20. And ages 13 and up is $25. Here, we're just at the reservation place to collect our tickets. You do need to keep your tickets safe because it is a round trip and when you're coming down, you need to show your tickets to the people there. I have looked at some videos, but I haven't seen anybody talk about this. When you reach the summit, you can stay up there for as long as you want. There's a cafe and the trams depart every 15 minutes. So you can just pick whichever time you want to leave. You can hike a bit and go to the observatory tower. I'm pretty sure there's also a short trail to the observatory tower, but we did the hiking. The ride up is about 10 minutes and there are so many places up there where you can take beautiful pictures. I recommend this, this was amazing. Tramway. We are the first and oldest tramway in the United States. We have been in existence since 1938. In 1938, the first tram car came out of this building here where you staged to come here. Excuse me. To give you an idea how big it is, they stuffed 27 people in a space this big. And if you think I'm kidding, look right out there, you'll see the old tram car out there. <laughs> From 1938 to 1980, they put over six and a half million people up over the mountain in those cars. If you look out the back, you can see there are three ropes that are holding us in the air. The other one was, a, this is a triple, the other one was a single. To the top, and we will take and mix it with air and we'll make our own snow. You'll see the snow guns out on the window out of this side here, and as you, we get to the top, you'll see more there. We are starting out at 1,900 feet. We are climbing to 4,080 feet when we get done here on this uh, car ride. And you're gaining 2,200 feet in less than a mile. So this is going straight up. So it's very, very steep out here. This is car one, the other one is car Two. There you go. <laughs> Somebody's awake. This is called the mustard car. The kids like to call this the mustard car, and the other car is ketchup. 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 Very good. And when you get to the top, you get to relish all of our views. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I gotta ride this thing all day long. I gotta have fun too. You know? It gets mighty cold in here. And I'm looking in the ski season. I'm looking for you. Wave to him. Let's see if the guy's asleep at the wheel. <laughs> nope, he wasn't. Thank you. When we get here, we're going to get a little swing and sway. To give you an idea, magnify that about 30 times, and that's what we go through. This thing is inspected from top to bottom. There is a man who goes up in the crow's nest, sits up there, and inspects every inch of it, and, and inspects the towers, too. All right, we're coming up to tower two here. Welcome to Jurassic Park! <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the swing. <laughs> As I said, magnify that by 30 times and I'll give you an idea what we got to go through. As you look out here, you will see the pipes going up the side of the mountain here. That's where we pump the water up, mix it with air, and we make our snow from there. Yeah, yeah. A 
we got our fair share of mugs. Yeah, we got some big ones. Beverages up here. We have in, in the summertime when they do not lose your tickets. If you do lose your tickets, you will be like this poor guy up here. He's been up here for the past two weeks because he lost his tickets, so we put him to work. All right, we are going to be coming into the docking station here. We got a little swing and sway back and forth, so we might bump. I told you. Did I not you exit? Please exit around and head out that way over to that side, please. Thank you very much for coming up. It's every 15 minutes or on the quarter hour. today normally I think it said you can see Canada and four other states unfortunately because there's so much mist we can't Literally 1,500 feet of walking, that's not much. Now? Yeah. Oh man. It's not much walking, plus there's no rain here. Because trees. Can you go up with mom? Yeah. Well, can I go there? Yeah, you're gonna go there. Let me look at it to see. Oh. Oh my god. We must have been caught in a cloud. Wow. My legs are shaking. I'm so scared. It's not that I'm scared of heights, it's just that I'm scared, period. Now, where did they go? Well, oh, it's like trees and trees. Climbed all the way up here. Wow.
We took the short trail back after checking out everything, and now we're just waiting for the tramway to come so we can go back down. Oh, I can't trick you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to work here. Maybe I should work here. Yeah. Let's move to New Hampshire. Now we are just going to return back to our hotel. We did end up going to a Mexican restaurant that was near our hotel called El Charo, but unfortunately we do not have any clips of that to put in the video. The food there was amazing and this place was also great. I had never been on a tramway before so this was a first time experience and honestly I really loved it because it was just so beautiful. And that's gonna be it for the video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye!